Very, very short video. Made a booby. The weatherman said it was going to be nice and bright and clear. A little bit of gentle rain in the morning. Look at it. Thick mist. And I reckon I'm going to be like another time I did this. And I, I couldn't see the cows in advance. And I got lost in the mist. Unless this lifts soon, because it must be going on for 11. It must be 11 o'clock now, easy. I've just had to come up a very, very steep hill from Westbury Sub Mendep. I've done it a couple months ago, and there are cows in this field, by the way. Fortunately, they, they were like statues, they didn't move. And then just after I got halfway up here, the farmer came with a big bale of hay for them. It feels like the sun wants to come out. Um, it's the 3rd of February, by the way, 2022, and I've really, really struggled to get up this hill. Uh, my moths are getting damp, and I'll be staying damp all day. Um, I have wrapped some warm clothes in a, in, and put them in my rucksack for later. Hat and, hat and gloves, mainly. But, really, if I knew it was like this, I would have worn my red extreme weather coat but they assured me this was going to lift and it was going to be clear and I feel like it will <sighs> that was a struggle for me today going up there because I'm carrying a lot in the winter I won't be carrying as much water only one bottle less I've got a flask of hot water if because I like to have hot water when I'm out in the winter and just one ordinary bottle of water and two oranges. Now the reason I'm doing this walk today is, although I say it's not the season of the cow, because we're having this climate change, the grass is still growing and the farmers are keeping the cows out. Now there's about six, easy six, seven eight fields I've got across yet. Not after here, not here, not including this. <sighs> fields I can't do in the summer. I only do them round about now. I like to get them done January, February, round about now. When you don't normally get them. <sighs> it's, it is clearing I think. I think it is brightening up. I think so. It's looking a bit patchier there now. I took the umbrella because it was raining. Only light rain, but light rain can make you very wet. I got my waterproof trousers on, they're already very muddy, look. With clean jeans on underneath. Clean, dry jeans. My feet are damp because these are old. This is their last winter for these. I shan't, but uh, the next pair will be new. I've still got another pair that is sort of reliable. That are much bulkier though to wear and heavier. Um, I like these really because they are light. They don't drag your feet down. You don't feel like you're wearing concrete on your heels, you know? So like I said, I've got these fields across that I can only do when it's not the season of the cow. But things have changed. Especially this year. Oh, I'm glad when I'm up there. I'm really struggling at the moment. Oh, really struggling. Oh, but I'm doing it. I want to do it. I'm looking, I'm enjoying it, even though I'm struggling. I'm enjoying it. I've got so much stuff there. I've got my bottles. I've got all my camera equipment. I've got food, first aid kit. I've got my walking stick, which I probably shouldn't have bothered bringing. And I've got this umbrella I'm stuck with now, which I'll be wet all day. I can't put it in the rucksack. And make everything wet in there. <sighs> Except I have got a carrier bag I can put it in. I have got a carrier bag. 
Oh, I'm turning off for now, folks. I'm heading for another gate. This is Sheena, up on the Mendips, above Westbury Sub Mendip, heading in the direction of Pretty, but I'll be swerving round and going back towards Draycott's Lights and Cheddar. Now I have said if things get bad, I get if I feel like I'm going to get cold because I'm damp, or something else happens. I would come off at uh, Draycott and get the bus from there and, and, and leave the last part of the walk. I don't have to do it all, but I wanted to do... The reason I'm here is because I want to do the six fields I can't do all year round. They're lovely. I love walking them. And it's not... It's, they are a designated pathway. Do you know what I mean? It's a designated walk. But I was chased in those fields. That, those fields is where I had to very, very quickly get up over a, over a barbed wire and a wobbly wall. Very quickly. I was being surrounded by these very frisky cows. <sighs> and people do die from trampling. It, you know, so I was being very guarded. And still am. I do take risks still. Those cows back there, if they had decided to follow me, then what could I have done? But they were more interested in the hay. Right, over and out, everyone. Right, folks. I haven't got my watch at hand, but I went it's about definitely 11. I've just come up through Cooksfields and Nature Reserve. Look at that lovely stone style there, look. That takes you over to a car park for people that drive up here and then want to do a walk. All this has been recorded in the past. And I think I might have done one on... In the mist before. It's just somebody coming now. Over and out.